Praise God. As a servant of God, I have a trifold mandate. One of them is to heal the sick, to drive demons out, and to preach the gospel to the ends of the earth. So if you have any of these needs, contact me, contact our ministry, our website, beopenministries.org, and we are ready to work with you, all for the glory of the King. We'll delve in today's teaching, which comes from the book of Nehemiah chapter 1, verse 2 to 8, and it says that Anani, one of my brethren, came with men from Judah, and I asked them concerning the Jews who had escaped, who had survived the captivity, and concerning Jerusalem. And they said to me, the survivors who are left from the captivity in the province are there in great distress and reproach. The wall of Jerusalem is also broken down and its gates are burned with fire. So it was when I heard these words that I sat down and wept and mourned for many days. I was fasting and praying before the God of heaven and I said, I pray, Lord God of heaven, O great and awesome God, you who keep your covenant and mercy with those who love you and observe your commandments. Please let your ear be attentive and your eyes open that you may hear the prayer of your servants, which I pray before you now, day and night, for the children of Israel, your servants, and confess the sins of the children of Israel, which we have sinned against you. Both my father's house and I have sinned. We have acted very corruptly against you and have not kept the commandments, the statutes, nor the ordinances which you commanded your servant Moses. Remember, I pray, the word that you commanded your servant Moses, saying, if you are unfaithful, I will scatter you among the nations. The Lord bless his word. The Lord God Almighty has sent me to tell you. If you are distressed about the state of your affairs, for example, your marriage is in shambles or in a rocky place or it's ended. Your financial situation is dire or you're in great debt or your kids or leading a wayward life and you're not happy about that or they're not doing what they're supposed to do or your spiritual life is dwindling out or it's dead you need to do something about it no one is coming to save you while you just sit you have to do something about this you have to do what Nehemiah did and what did Nehemiah do he made inquiries about what was happening so sit down and inquire about your situation think about what you're thinking about and if things are not good, go to the next step. Like Nehemiah, you should do a prayer and fast. You know, it's very important to be able to dedicate your time to the solution. And I assure you, without a shadow of doubt and with personal experience, Jesus is the answer. He has all the answers that you need. You know, and, and you, when you do a prayer and fast, you call on the God of heaven, like Nehemiah did, like we, we just read on the scripture. Don't call on other human beings. No, who are flesh and blood like you. Call on the Lord God Almighty and he will cause people to help you. Thus says the Lord. And in that prayer we see it was in a fashion that is pleasing to the Lord. First, he praised the Lord. If you remember what you read. And then he repented for his sins and the sins of his forefathers. You know, some people suffer because of the sins of their forefathers and this is what is commonly known as generational curses so it's good to pray for repentance for your sins and those of your forefathers and ask god to cover you with the blood of christ so that you do not suffer the consequences of other people's sins very very important and the other one is you should know scriptures like nehemiah did you see he said we know what you had said through your servant Moses, that if we are unfaithful, you'll scatter us throughout the world. And that's exactly what was happening to the children of Israel. They were suffering because of their sins, because of their disobedience. Servant Moses told people what God told him to say. If you choose uh, evil, evil will follow you and you'll be scattered and you'll suffer. If you choose the good ways, you'll get prosperity. And... Nehemiah was able to decipher and know why the situation was the way it was. So press into the Lord and ask yourself, why are you going what you're going through? Why? 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 He has all the answers. And the last point is, you have to humble yourself in the presence of the Almighty God. The indomitable King has all the answers. So it's very, very important to know that 
if you need solutions, humble yourself before the Lord. And how do you do that? You pray to him. You seek his answers and expect that he'll answer. And I can assure you without a shadow of doubt, God answers prayers. He does. You may not like the answers. You may not like the timing, but he will answer you. And I'm a testimony to this and many other Bible-believing, spirit-filled Christians can attest to this. So be blessed and may the Lord God Almighty be with you. Amen.